Alright everybody, it's uh, the official Alan Wake review. It's been, uh, I've had this game for, I don't know, months now, it seems like. But, um, I finally got, I finally finished it. I've beaten like three other games while continually playing this game, you know, Red Dead Redemption, Mafia 2, and Split Second, which I didn't do a review for because I really wasn't doing reviews. Same thing for Red Dead Redemption, but now I'm doing reviews and, you know, but I've beaten so many games while still having Alan Wake and um, playing it all the while in between, you know, those other games, the newer games. But um, that is not a knock on this game at all because this game is great. This is a great game. Um, it's very a psychological thriller, um, third person action, you know, uh, game, suspense, like I said, psych very, very psychological. If you have ever watched any episodes of the X-Files or you're at all into the X-Files or, you know, th things of that matter, if you're a big gamer, if you, if you liked you know, like Silent Hill type of stuff, you will enjoy the storyline of this game. As far as the gameplay goes, if you've ever played, if you've ever played Max Payne, the control scheme will be very f familiar to you because it's, the development team is the same development team that worked in the Max Payne games. And if you, just by looking at it, you can tell that, you know, as far as the uh, you know controls go, it's very similar to the Max Payne series. Um, but different nonetheless. Um, as far as the core game mechanics, they work very well. Um, the objective is to... You have the, the darkness. Everybody in the darkness is needs they have a force field they have like a, a barrier it's kind of like a shield a darkness shield around them um, they're kind of like characters in a story it's it's a it's a really crazy the whole the game the whole plot line is really crazy like I said it's like an episode it's like watching through episodes of the X-Files you know it's a, it's very interesting um, but all the enemies that you encounter in the, in the game you know are kind of like characters that were written written into the into the story. Twists. I'm talking of myself here. Awesome. <laughs> um, all right, you gonna shut up? Alright, I'll let him tell you the cutscene Is he done? I think he's done. Okay. So <laughs> um I think I just referred to myself in the fourth person. Okay. <laughs> um but they have a darkness uh, shield around them, and you have to use the flashlight to bring down the shield before you can shoot them. Because if you shoot them before you bring down the shield, it's not gonna have zero effect. It's not gonna do anything. Um, if you caught the footage, you're a nice cutscene here. Um, I'll let you uh, take take a quick gander at that. explain the episode thing here. You see when you get to the end of uh, an episode, 
it's kind of like the end of a, a TV show episode, you know. Which is very cool. Because it makes you feel like you're watching a show. And this is exactly why I said it's like watching the... See? It makes you think like you're, you're right in the middle of a TV show. It's awesome. <laughs> so, as far as fighting the enemies though, you take them down with the, with the light, the flashlight, or any uh, source of light that you have available to you, and to take down their shield, and you can shoot them, and you have different uh, other ways, you have flares, you have flare gun, you have, uh, you know, revolver, standard revolver, you have a shotgun, a pump action shotgun, you have a hunting rifle you can switch between, and there's also... Standalone flares and there's flashbangs which you get towards later in the game. It's awesome. It's kind of like grenade. You know, everybody who plays, you know, you know, shooting games knows what flashbangs are. But for the darkness enemies, flashbangs kind of act like real grenades. It's interesting because you know, there it takes light to to kill them. So the light and then the force is you can totally eradicate an enemy without having to shoot them by using the flashbangs. But once again. This game is incredible. You know, if you if you any of the way any things that I've described before as far as you know the type of gameplay this is and the type of game that it is, if you're into any of that stuff whatsoever, I definitely recommend this. A solid nine out of ten. Um, if you haven't played it, I'm you know, definitely play it. Don't miss this game because this is one of the better games that came out this year. Um, if you if you if you're really into this stuff, I would definitely pick it up. By now, the price has probably dropped to somewhere, you know, maybe about 40 bucks, maybe even $30 some in, in some places. So I would definitely recommend purchasing this game. For that price, it is a must-buy game. Um, Alan Wake, solid 9 out of 10.